Now, if this native were to come to me and he says, you know, I want to uh, buy shares for a particular company, when can I purchase it during the month? Okay. Now, we use Fortuna Point from the perspective of moon and from the perspective of sun. Now, where it will differ, I will tell you. Let, sorry. Let's open the transit window. Okay. See, as we discussed in transit, we said moon will cover all the 12 Rashis or zodiac signs in approximately 27 to 28 days. Correct? If it starts with zero degree Aries, it will come to 360 degree Pisces in a matter of 27 to 28 days. Now, if you want to see that, let's say it's come to Aries on November 7th. This is moon. Moon is in Aries on November 7th, correct? Let's go to December. You can see moon has come to Aries again on 4th December. So if I take three days here, three plus, let's say, uh, I have to take 27 is uh, 23 plus four days approximately. So 27 days. If I consider from 7th November to December 4th, it is approximately 27 days, correct? So moon comes back to Aries. So what happens when I look at Fortuna point, which is let's say 164.2, and this guy has come to me asking me if this month can I purchase shares, give me a good time. Fortuna point can also be used as Mohorat. Okay. So you see here, where does 164 come up? Approximately it is on 20th. So let's double click here, 164, you can see here. Asta Nakshatra, second Pada, so Mercury, Moon, Jupiter. So if I go to 20th, for example, you can see here, Asta Nakshatra, second Pada, 164, approximately this one. So I can tell him on 20th of November, 7 a.m. you buy the shares that you want because this time is favorable for you. Fortuna simply means favorable time. So in a month at least it will appear once a month. Fortuna for moon will appear once a month because moon is uh, transiting in the entire zodiac all 360 degrees, once, a month, once every 27 days, correct? So if I were to pick for this month, I will tell him at 7 a.m. on 20th of November, you go ahead and you purchase because this is your fortune point. You can see Mercury, Moon, Jupiter. This is the one, Hasta Nakshatra, second part. What are you, you can ignore this part, but you see the degree wise, it's very, very close match. If you want to drill down further, for example, if it is 164.2, 164.2, I can tell him at 620 you purchase. That is the best time for you. You are able to understand how it is getting drilled down? But why would took moon only? No, no. If he says this month. I want to do it this month. Give me a ah, time. Okay. The fastest planet is moon, right? Oh, okay. But if he says anytime this year, it's okay with me. I'm not in a hurry. Then you look at sun. But sun will come in a particular Rashi only once a year. Correct? It takes 360, uh, it takes 30, day, 30 days to cover one zodiac sign. Say, for example, sun is moving to Scorpio on 16th November, right? Make a note of this. 16th November, it is getting to Scorpio. Let's go to December. You see here, till 15th of December, it is in Scorpio, which means approximately 30 days, it is in Scorpio. 
So here, if I have to find the same degree, 164, I don't think I can get it in November. You see, he should have already done it somewhere on October 1st. You see 164 degrees? Yeah, he, he should have done it approximately, not even October, September end. So September end, if you take 164.2 degrees, no, it was there in the previous one. Yeah, 1st October, 164. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at one. Yeah. Yeah, here. So I would have told him, if he had come to me in August, for example, I would have told him on October 1st, you pick it up by 4 p.m. Right? But this happens only once a year, if I look at sun. The next time I will see 164 degrees is next October. Because sun takes 30 days to complete every single Rashi. Whereas moon takes only 27 to 28 days to complete the entire zodiac. So that way the chances of me getting a time more frequently is in moon. You see, Every time we can look at moon only then. Moon, yes, yes. If, if the person is in a hurry, you will always look at moon. But what is the best? Uh, so basically with moon, we get smurat every month. Yes, yes, you will. You will. For, Those what, for, by moon, for anything? Yes. That, that is why I said, if you remember, moon is the most important planet for us in astrology. For everything, people connect to moon. No, but is it possible that, you know, if Moon Dasha is coming every month, for that Fortune Mohurat, and maybe yeah. uh, we should wait and wait for Sun Mohurat, which is better than Moon, is it possible? Yes, yes, you can. See, it depends on how much time you have. See, not everybody will say, I want to just purchase the vehicle this month, tell me. Right? No, but I think if I say that I have time, then why will I look at Sun when I can buy it now also with Moon, this thing? Yes, you can do it. 100% but you can do it. You can definitely do it. If let's say your chart is promising something, your Dasha Bhukti Antara is good, then you look at fortune. Ah, okay. First we have to look through all of this. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You will go through all that process and then get to fortune. Hmm. First of all, if there is no promise, you will not even look at this chart. You know, you will not even look, come to this uh, transit part and tell him about fortune. You, you know that everything is in place and then he says, no, I want to do it ASAP. Then you go look at fortune. 